Since 2006, in partnership with the Faculty of Engineering of Porto University, the Portuguese Navy has been conducting a series of exercises where the operational community joins efforts to explore the use of maritime unmanned systems. The aim is to experiment new technological development on unmanned vehicles and, at the same time, test and validate doctrine, concepts of employment, operations, procedures and tactics. This partnership was a cornerstone in 2010 of the first recognized environmental picture, REP exercise, which brought together academia and research centers, industry and end users. In 2014, the NATO Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation joined the exercise and became a co-organizer. The partnership with CMRE was an important mark for the REP exercise, increasing its relevance and interest for academia and industry. Partners in allied nations joining the exercise now had the opportunity to work with an excellent scientific research and experimentation center with the capability and skill to deliver innovative and field-tested technology. In 2019, the Maritime Unmanned Systems Initiative, MUSI, has considered REP exercise as a key element in achieving its purposes through operational experimentation. Another important mark occurred, MUSI became a co-organizer, and REP exercise was renamed Robotics Experimentation and Prototyping Augmented by Maritime Unmanned Systems. Rep News. The first edition of the Rep News exercise was conducted last year in Troya, which has been the home for the Rep exercises since 2010. In the near future, Rep News organization will work closely with Marcom, establishing links in complementary synergies with a brand new dynamic messenger exercise. The next challenge is to turn Troya scenario into an accredited maritime operational experimentation center, providing access to different environments riverine, coastal and oceanic, and therefore leveraging partner nations' capability development supported by a permanent maritime operational experimentation infrastructure. The Portuguese Navy has a background of more than 15 years developing unmanned vehicles and will continue to join efforts with academia, industry and the operational community in order to further explore the use of maritime unmanned systems while experimenting new technological developments on unmanned vehicles, testing and validating doctrine, concepts of employment, operations, tactics and procedures. Rep News 21 exercise will bring together academia, research centers, industry and the operational community to work in developing and testing operational concepts and requirements, technological advances, new developments in sensors, actuators, command, control and communications, as well as tactics and procedures on maritime unmanned systems. The main objective will remain to fulfill the Navy's operational requirements while using Navy assets for experimentation at sea, development and evaluation of both systems and operational concepts. I'm Bruce Souza, a professor at Port University and the head of the OSTS. We've been involved in the organization of the REP exercise since 2010, first in cooperation with the Portuguese Navy and more recently in cooperation with CMRE and the MUS initiative. I must say I'm very proud and very happy with what we achieved so far. We came a long way. REP MUS is now a unique exercise for the evaluation and testing of network vehicle systems in an operational environment. This is done in the Triple Helix framework involving academia, industry and government. Stay tuned for future and exciting developments. Catherine Warner, Director of NATO's Center for Maritime Research and Experimentation in La Spezia, Italy. The center has participated in the REP exercise since 2012, where we were one of the original organizers with the Portuguese Navy and the University of Porto. This event is one of the major opportunities for all unmanned systems to be demonstrated and experimented on together. And fortunately, thanks to the Portuguese Navy for providing the logistics and the areas of operation for all the different nations and industries to participate. This is a real benefit to NATO and their industries because this is really the only exercise where we can have industry, warfighters, 
capability development, um, research, and experimentation going on at the same time. But for the center, the real importance of the RETMAS is that we can go there and demonstrate interoperable solutions that work from all NATO nations. For example, the JANUS Digital Underwater Communication Standard was developed and first tested during the REP exercises. In the future, we look forward to using the same standard to have networks of unmanned systems and use those for developing future concepts of anti-submarine warfare. Over the past months, we have been partnering with the Portuguese Navy to identify collaboration opportunities to deploy our capabilities within maritime autonomous systems. Our visualization, digitalization and simulation solutions have been deployed throughout the years in several multi-domain and simultaneous operations, mainly within the oil and gas and marine renewable sectors, contributing to the increase of safety and efficiency as well as reducing the overall carbon footprint in these industries. The REPMUS exercise will be a great opportunity to explore and identify operational and research synergies with all the participants, and we really look forward to participating in next year's exercise. Science participation on REPMUS exercise is an excellent opportunity for us to demonstrate our capabilities and our technology in terms of unmanned systems, and I must say on behalf of our entire team, that we are very much looking forward to it. See you soon. The Fiber Dynamics team at the, the University of Minho in Portugal developed knowledge in the fiber and composite materials. Particularly, we was developing the knowledge in the area of advanced and intelligence materials. This means that we have the knowledge to develop, to develop lightweight structures, fiber structures with the capability to conduct energy. With these technologies, it is possible to create antennas integrated in the composite materials, self-sensing technology, that is, we can control the damage from the beginning and know where the damage is. The REPUMOS exercise is a great opportunity to ocean scan to test in operational environments the light autonomous and water vehicle new developments. It's also an opportunity to show the LUV unique capabilities to other navies and users and it's, uh, it also strengthens our cooperation with the Portuguese Navy. The Portuguese Navy has been one of the major partners of TechEver throughout uh, the last years in the development of unmanned systems. When we started many years ago, we had all the technical capability we needed, but we had a lot to learn about the operational environment. 
Today, we lead the UAS-based maritime surveillance market with thousands of operational hours delivered in Europe and abroad. TechEvers AR3 is one of the very few operationally proven shipborne UAS systems, currently supporting missions throughout Europe, Southeast Asia and Africa. We're very glad to collaborate with the Portuguese Navy on this exercise and to bring our proven and commercially available systems to collaborate on both R&D and operational activities. I'm CEO of UA Vision Portugal and I want to speak to you about the Portuguese Navy rep exercise. For us, uh, rep exercise has been of the utmost importance for us to test our products on a realistic and live scenario. Uh, through the years, it was a fundamental um, program that enabled us to develop uh, also new technologies and we are expecting to be there at REP 2021. The REP Moves exercise gathers navies, academia, and industry once a year in Portugal. Understanding our requirements, this is an opportunity for the academia and the industry to develop innovative solutions, providing new tools to improve our operational response. Join us at REP Moves 21 and let's shape the future of maritime operations together.